Hey guys, Flying Ross here. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be on how to actually install mods and specifically the mod that lets you actually expand to all the uh, unlockable areas. So you can actually only buy nine squares. So right now we got one, two, three, four, five. So you can buy nine squares total, but if you get uh, mods, you can actually unlock the entire map of 25. So it's a good thing if you want to actually, you know, if you really have built a big area and you want to continue on. Now the one side note is with uh, with these mods, your achievables are, un are, are not, you can't unlock any new achievements. So <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, take you to the Steam Workshop right now that you, so you can see where to get it and which ones uh, I've downloaded. And now it doesn't mean that you have to get those specific ones, but I'll take you there and then we'll see how to actually load it in game. Okay, so we're on Steam now, and this is uh, for City Skylines in your library, and you scroll down and you can see Steam Workshop. If you click on Browse the Workshop, you can see all the different mods and different buildings you can get, like you can get this cathedral, different roundabouts, buildings. Now there's two different ones. There's the all areas purchasable, and then all areas, un uh, all spaces unlockable. Now I'll be used as using this one, the all spaces unlockable for the video, but you just go in here and then you click on subscribe. So right now it says unsubscribe. And that's really, that's all you have to do on this end is actually just click subscribe and then it is now available in game. So I'll see you back in game. Okay, so we're back in game and how you do this is you go into your content manager and go into mods here and you can see that there's two different kinds of space, uh, there's 25 spaces available and then also there's unlock all progression milestones. So if you have a smaller uh, city right now and you haven't got to the last one, you would actually have to unlock this. Now if you've gotten, gotten all the achievements and all the milestones, you wouldn't have to ins uh, install this mod and you would only have to do install one of the uh, purchasable mods. So I'm gonna do the one by Saik, uh, and then also I'm gonna hit unlock all progression as well, and then we'll go into game. So I'll see you back in game. Okay, so we're in game now, and you can see right here, it says reach a population of zero, but it shows us everything that we just got unlocked, all the new areas and also monuments. So this is how you know that it's actually working, and that one's actually provided by the developer, so is the unlimited money. So now we have our city of uh, a fully, uh, well, not fully yet, but this is what we already had, which is the squares, but now we can uh, expand out and now we can purchase all of this. So like I want to purchase here or here, or here well, anywhere really. So like, you know, if I need, it says no ship connections. I don't necessarily know how to get ship connections, um, but let's see, I want to buy, well, you can buy a lot of stuff. So I'll buy there, you can buy there. 21,000. Okay, now we get ship connections. So like, oh yeah, I want to get out there so I can get ship connections. That would be really good. And then we'll purchase that for, uh, and then, yeah, purchase that one. And we'll purchase these two. But as you can see, you can kind of just you know, keep on expanding outwards. And now you can expand quite a ways out from what the normal would be, um, which, you know, a lot of players would like. So, just keep on purchasing. Oh, oh no, we can't keep on purchasing. We, <laughs> I actually ran out of money. So you would actually need the unlimited money mod or just keep on going. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and then five times five is 25. So you can see that you get a pretty large square, especially comparative what you would get with uh, the what you could actually unlock in game. So that's just a really quick video, how to use it and really what it looks like. I mean, it's that's a pretty large city. I mean, that's a massive city which, I mean, would be really fun. Now, this is not supported by the developers or by the individual mod makers. This has not been tested, actually, to go for this far out. If you actually have this much uh, physics and graphics working at the same time, it, if you have a slower computer, I can guarantee safely, I would say, if you had that all filled up, uh, like the density like here, you are definitely gonna have some uh, hiccups if you're on a lower end computer. And maybe even if you're on a high end computer, I mean, I'm on a pretty high end computer and I don't know, I'm running at fine right now for frames per second, but I don't know if I had that all entirely filled in. So I hope this was an informative video and you guys enjoyed this a really quick introduction to how to put mods, how to work the Steam Workshop, and uh, you know, I know probably a lot of you do know how to use it, but for anyone that was confused on how to do it and what it does, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you did, 
hit that thumbs up button. It does mean a lot to me. Please leave any comments below. I do read them all. I might not respond to all of you because I mean, one guy said I was a fucking retard, which I did actually respond to him. So, but hey, you know, whatever. It's YouTube. So I'm the Flying Ross, and I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, guys.